Hey everyone, it's Whitney, and today I'm going to be doing another makeup tutorial for you guys, and a lot of you guys will be really happy with me because it's a all drugstore um, makeup tutorial, and I am only using the little sponge applicators that it came with, and just my fingers to blend and everything. Um, today I'm using the Maybelline New York Quad that I just picked up the other day at CVS, and as you can see here, it has a 50% off sticker, so a uh, pretty good price. And um, I had to pick up some stuff over at CBS because they have that massive makeup sale going on. Um, and if you haven't checked out my haul from that, you can check that out in the down bar. But anyways, this is what the um, quad looks like. This one is in lavender filth. It's really, really handy because it has all your colors labeled for you. So if you're just a beginner, it's really, really helpful to have this where it says this is your crease color, lid, brow bone, and outer corner color. So very, very handy. Even has a little diagram on the back here to show you kind of uh, where the colors go. So that's what that looks like. Um, I really, really love these colors. They're really pretty, uh, really nice for an everyday look. Um, or you could even spice it up and make it into a nighttime look. So very, very uh, pigmented, very blendable, and very sparkly and pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. So first off, I'm going to start off by priming my eyes, and today I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I'm going to go ahead and stick this on my lid and blend it all the way up to my brow bone. Next, I'm going to be actually using an eye base today, and I'm going to be using a white one. So whatever you have that's white, or maybe just kind of a light base to help um, make the color stand out more, that would be great. But today I'm using the NYX Jumbo Pencil, and this one's in Milk. I actually have found quite a few of the uh, NYX Jumbo Pencils over at CVS, um, and I'm really not sure how much they were. They might have been like, $4.99 or $5.99 or maybe even $3.99 but they were really cheap and um, I was just really surprised to find them over at CVS so um, I don't know if they still have them or not but anyways I'm using this one and it's in milk it's just their white one and I'm going to go ahead and just start putting some of this all over my lid and I really like to prime my eyes even if I'm using a base because I sometimes find that bases do crease, so um, I just kind of like using the primer just in case. So I'm going to go ahead and blend out milk onto my lid and on up towards the brow, just like that. Today I'm just going to be using the little sponge applicators that um, they come with. And um, if you want to see some more sponge applicator makeup tutorials that I've done previously, um, I can have some of those makeup tutorials in the down bar, and you can just click on them and go straight to it. But um, really easy to use these, uh, very easy to blend, uh, very simple for a beginner. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first I'm going to take this color down here, which is your brow bone color. And I'm just going to stick this on the little sponge applicator. This is a very, very light, uh, like lilac purple. And I'm just going to put that right underneath my brow bone. And if you stick the uh, brow highlight color right underneath the arch right here, it really helps to lift your brows and make them look even higher. So just go ahead and stick it right there underneath the arch and out. And go ahead and blend that out. I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, brow bone color again right down here and put this on the inner part of my eye. And that's really going to help open up your eyes so it doesn't look so closed, make you look like you have bigger eyes. So just sticking this right on the inner uh, part of my eye, about the inner third. I'm going to take the lid color, which is up here at the top, just this really, really pretty lilac color, and I'm going to put it on the sponge applicator. Knock off any of the excess so you don't have too much fallout, and go ahead and place this on uh, the rest of my lid. Now I'm just adding um, some more of that lid color. Next I'm going to take the crease color which is up here and get some of that on the sponge applicator just kind of on the side of it. Knock off the excess and go ahead and stick this into the crease 
and I'm mainly concentrating on the outer part here and I'm not going on into the lighter part that I'd already applied so I'm just kind of uh, building that up right now taking some more of that crease color and sticking it in there now I'm just going to take my uh, ring finger and go ahead and start blending this uh, crease color out like so Next, I'm going to grab the outer corner color, which is the darkest color down here, and I'm going to get some of that on the side of the sponge applicator, like so. Like that. Knock off the excess. Go ahead and start sticking this in my outer V. I'm just blending with the sponge applicator. Last, I'm going to take some of that brow bone color and go ahead and stick that right on the inner part of my eye. Today for eyeliner, I'm using the Milani Easy Liner for Eyes in Black. I'm going to go ahead and tightline my eye. Alright, I went ahead and tightline my eyes and put a little bit on uh, my top line. Now I'm just taking the sponge applicator and I'm just going to smudge that out a little bit. Last, I'm going to grab my sponge applicator with the outer corner color, which is the darkest one down here. And I've been doing this quite a bit lately, is um, getting some of the darkest color of the eyeshadow that I used for my uh, look. And just pulling down my lid to help set the uh, eyeliner that I put on my waterline. Just kind of dabbing that on uh, the liner. Um, Always make sure once you do this to tap off the excess so you don't get any in your eye, but it really helps to uh, tie the whole look together, I think, and it looks really nice. It also helps uh, your uh, waterline eyeliner stay on all day long and um, just stays all day long, and I really love doing it that way. Today for my mascara, I'm going to be using the Almay Pure Blend, and this one is in, um, it is in black. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this on my lashes real quick. Today I'm going to be using the Revlon Beyond Natural 400 Pink Blush. And it looks like this. Just a really, really pretty color. And it even comes with a, uh, a bronzer. So a uh, really nice duo. So I really like the blush. I'm going to go ahead and stick some of that on my cheek. And last for my lips, I use the, uh, the Revlon lipstick in lilac and I'm gonna go ahead and stick some more on and on top of that I am going to apply the Maybelline shiny delicious 80 cola float lip gloss which is one of my absolute favorites I've had this for a really long time so it just really smells really good alright so this is my completed look um, I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video.